In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort and filter as well as searching data within your keywords you generated within the AMA keyword generator software. So what we do here, so I just want to quickly go through every every um, different part of the filters. So first, there are something called quick filters, and those are accessible from the top of the first row here, the, um, the top header column. You'll see these little button, little drop down buttons here, and these are called quick filters. So you can just quickly filter the data based on what you see inside of the drop down here. So let's say I want to see everything that has a uh, score of greater than 80. You do that, and it'll instantly filter out all of the other different uh, rows and just cont and just keep the rows that have more than 80 for the score. And you can do that with each each column and you can add as many as you want like so. Now if you want to clear out the filters you can go filters and delete filters like that. So you just have to click the filters button and then select delete filters. Another way to delete filters is simply right click, go to filters and delete filters. Basically this um, option here, these three options are also provided in the right click menu and from this filter button here. Now when you go ahead and select a quick filter, it will add it to the main filters and you can see the main filters by clicking the filters button and then click show filters or you can right click and filters and then show filters as well. So right click, filters and show filters. Whoops. And I'll bring this little filters box up here. And this filters box will contain all the filters you have defined for this particular set of data. Now you can add them by doing the quick filters here. You can see they'll add right underneath here. You can also right click each filter in here and you can remove the selected filter. And you can also add filters within here. Now the quick filters are just simple uh, filters that are easy to use. They don't have much options here. But in here you have a lot more options. So if you want to add a filter, you can actually select a column that you want. For example, here you can add you can select the keyword column. There isn't a defined quick filter in the keyword and seed columns, but here there is. So now you can select um, I want the keyword to contain the word apron. And then you can select apply and it will go ahead and filter everything based on the filter set that you have here. We can remove that filter again or you can remove all filters here. You can also save your filter, your, your filters to a file and have a filter file. And it makes it really convenient when you want to filter something really quick and you have you know your uh, default set filters you always like using. So let's say for example your filters are going to be I want everything that contains the word barbecue. And let's add another filter and let's say I want the score to always be um, greater than 60. You can apply that then you can save this to a filter file and let's say if we just remove all those filters and there's a couple of ways to load that filter file, there's actually many ways one way is you can, sh in, in the show filters, you can open the filter file here and load it and apply another way to do it is this button here, if you just click the filters button load filter file automatically applies it, that's a little easier you can also right click and load the filter file this way. You see how quick that is if you have a set of filters you always like using. Now I'll be providing another video on the advanced settings but let's say for example you wanted a different quick filter in here. You actually can customize the quick filters within the settings here in the quick filters section. You can, you can actually customize them here let's say you wanted to see an Amazon US column so the formatting here is the first part is the column name Then you have to put a colon a space and then it's either less um, equal greater there's only three different options you can do in here so greater equal or less and then you do the corresponding sign and then the number you want and you can just add it in here and you have to have a space in between each quick filter here. So again I'll provide another video to show you how to do this. 
And you can even save your quick filters to file, the, the settings file. So it's a little bit advanced there, but if you really want to change the filters, that's how you do it. So let's go ahead and do just a quick little example here. Let's say you wanted to see um, a score greater than 95. So the easiest way, just grab one um, line here and right click in copy and make another line, right click in paste, and I'll just change it to 95. Click done and now it should automatically show up in here there it is boom so we just defined a quick filter in there so just another cool little feature we've integrated into this version now let me show you how to sort the data sorting the data is actually quite simple you just simply just uh, click the top um, row up here the header row and it'll automatically sort each one but we do have an additional feature in here so Let's say you want to sort by keyword, but you want to sort within another column. So you can actually sort two columns at once, actually all the columns at once. It gets a little tricky, but let me just show you an example. Let's say I wanted to sort the Amazon here, and I wanted to see um, all of the column, all these, um, sorry, all these rows have the same number here, so they're all fifth position, but I want to sort just these set, just the set of keywords within this column that have a rank of five, I want to sort the score of just those ones. So what you do is you can hold down the shift key on your on your uh, keyboard and then sort another column and what it's doing is actually sorting within that set. So within that set we can see the score within all the ones that have a five and it also does it for all the four and a halfs and and the four it starts over again so it's just a multi sort option so it's a little advanced but it's pretty cool you can do it for seed as well let's say for example you wanted to see for this given seed I want to see the scores for just that seed word grilling and then you can go down and you can see the next seed keyword so let's say for grill it'll start over again and you can see the score for that particular keyword so that's called multi-sort and then to get out of the multi-sort you just just go ahead and sort another column and you'll see the little number there number one within the little sort icon is kinda hard to see but if you hold down the shift key and do it again you'll see another two three you can keep sorting all the way through but if you want to delete all the sort columns just sort one by itself the next feature I want to show you is the instant text search click controls and go to instant search and just simply start typing in here it'll instantly search the keyword column for what you're searching for let's say you want to search for gloves and a search within it searches within the uh, keywords you have listed in your data here that's a handy little feature. What's really nice, it actually will search as you type. So that's pretty cool. And that's basically it that I want to show in this video was how to sort, filter, and search data with the instant uh, search feature.